How to create an embedded animated SVG in Webflow. Today I'd like to show you the easiest way to animate an SVG and put it on a website. If you're watching this, you've likely explored Airbnb's Lottie, which involves the use of After Effects. But what if I told you there's a much easier and simpler workflow? In this tutorial, I'll use Webflow to demo the final result. But as long as you can use HTML, you'll likely be able to do the same. So we're going to cover how to do four things. Getting key shape, setting up an animation, exporting an animated SVG, and finally, embedding an animated SVG. Step one, getting key shape. Key shape is a Mac only program. You can get the 14 day trial of this link before committing to purchasing in the Mac app store. Once we've downloaded key shape, we can simply open it. Step two, setting up an animation. In the key shape window, drag in an SVG. You can also download the demo SVG in the description. We'll select the layer we'd like to animate. I would like to add subtle motion to the leaves in the background of this SVG. So I'll select the first leaf to make it my active selection. Then I'll select the transform tool. I'll drag the anchor point to the bottom left because that's where the stem would be. Now I'll add a keyframe. Select the add keyframe icon and click rotation. Then move the current time indicator to the two second mark. Click the add and remove keyframe toggle to add a keyframe here. Then change the rotation to negative four degrees. Now drag the current time indicator to the four second position. Click the add and remove keyframe toggle to add another keyframe. We'll change the rotation to zero. Now select all the keyframes by holding shift and clicking the bars that connect each keyframe. Select the Easing Presets button and choose Ease In and Out. Make sure the loop playback is highlighted blue. If not, click it. Now we're ready to play the animation and see if it's worked. Great! I can see that the leaf sways back and forth. Now we'll repeat the same steps for the second leaf. Select the second leaf. With the Transform tool selected, move the anchor point to where the stem would be. Move the current time indicator to the zero second mark. Select the add keyframe icon and click rotation. Move the current time indicator to the two second mark. Change the rotation to four degrees. Move the current time indicator again to the four second mark. Change the rotation to zero degrees. Now select all the keyframes by holding shift and clicking the bars that connect each keyframe. Select the easing presets button and choose ease in out. Now press play. Congratulations. You've now created your first animation in key shape. Step three, exporting an animated SVG. Select file in the menu bar and click export. I'll rename the file to animated-svg. Then I'll select the animation type as keyshape JS animation. Then I'll click export. I'll save the file to my desktop. Step four, embedding an animated SVG. Copy this line of HTML from the description. In Webflow, open the add tab and select the embed component. In the editor window, paste in your HTML, then click save and close. Go to the assets tab and click upload. Choose the file animated-svg. Then click the gear icon on the animated-svg file. Right click the external link icon and select copy link. Then click the gear icon in the embed component you added. Where it says replace me, highlight the text, then right click your mouse and select paste. Press save and close. Now you see that our animation is working in the Webflow Designer. I'll go ahead and publish the page to see what it looks like. It's good to note that the regular image tag will not work with animated SVGs and that you must use the object tag. I hope that you find that this method is much easier to use than Lottie. Now go and have fun with creating animated SVGs.